This isn't black versus white. This isn't rich versus poor. This isn't left versus right. This isn't us versus them. It's 13 folds versus the world! R.I. Normal presents the radio game show hitting the best and brightest around the globe. Against the masterminds behind 13 Folds Magazine. And Conquer Free Speech. They've taken on equal rights. They've challenged Prohibition. And now they're coming for you. Just about time for us to teach you, young whippersnappers, a lesson. So sharpen up your number two fences and take your seats. It's 13 Falls versus the World! Oh, yeah. Kings and enemies, it's time for 13 Folds versus the World here on RI, freeradio.org. Hanging out here at the Fat Squirrel. It's Thursday night. It's like 9 o'clock. Yeah, we got a rowdy crowd tonight. I got my drink on. Looking around this table, it looks like everybody else does too. I'm your host, Mike Liberty, joined right here at the Fat Squirrel with Dave Death. Hello, hello. Our producer, the Dread Pirate, Caleb. Well, hi there. And of course, Steve Donovan. Welcome everybody in Radio World. What's going on, Stevie? So we got we got some some things shaken up here at the at the Squirrel. We do. What's the deal? I uh, I have taken over the Thursday night, thirteen folds versus the world music portion of the night. Nice man. On the hierarchy of things, that puts you ahead of us, man. You just got promoted. I don't know. That feels like a demotion, Mike. It's a lot of work <laughs> and, and not that much money. That's right. It doesn't mean we're not going to mess with you. So, no, That's always welcome. Nice. <laughs> Kyle, the best bartender in all of Providence. I'm in saying. all the land. Bringing Dave his radio juice. I love everything about that guy. He is just sexy personified. Is that liquor in a beer bottle, Sorkman? No, it's actually uh, ginger beer. Non-alcoholic night for me. For you. Ooh, is that non alcoholic? Yeah. What a waste of time. Yeah, when the fuck does that ever happen? Well, the ginger cleans the palate for comedy. <laughs> so does liquor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you? They are light flow, and they're actually those maxi pads. I don't actually insert it. <laughs> <laughs> He's, uh, his hymen is intact, <laughs> just, for the, just for the record. <laughs> Still a virgin. Oh, man. So, yeah, this is it, man. This is the show. We're doing this thing. You know, okay, so obviously, I, we, you know, we've got, a, uh, we got the whole Aaron Hernandez thing this week, and I've got a whole celebrity felon theme built for tonight's oh, show. Oh, nice. Celebrity felons? Yeah, you, you act like you've never heard of the concept before. They don't exist. They're too famous to get caught. I've got three pages of notes that say otherwise. That's oh, shit. differently. Like but, Tom Cruise? I don't even have Tom Cruise. What's the Tom Cruise story? No, he's just an asshole. Oh, <laughs> that's not a felony. If it was, Dave would be in jail. <laughs> life sentence, brother. Life sentence. But, uh, you know, apart from Aaron Hernandez, this is today. Uh, what's the date? The 15th? The 16th? 16th, 16th? 16th of April. Hope you filed your taxes. This is an important day in Patriots history. Does anyone know what happened on this day in Patriots history? Did they win? No. <laughs> Lincoln was not oh, it's got nothing to do with the Patriots was this the day that Lincoln was assassinated oh my goodness this day is just loaded do, oh okay this uh, honestly Hernandez shot him. in New England I think this is maybe more important this might trump the death of Abraham Lincoln this was the day 15 years ago that the Patriots drafted Tom Brady oh. with 199th pick was it really that long ago? Yeah, it's yes. been 15 Jesus years. Jesus Christ, man. Pick? Yeah, he was, he was the he was sixth, sixth round, round pick. He was, uh, he was only a few picks away from being Mr. Irrelevant, the last, <laughs> the last pick in the draft. 
So, uh, so yeah, there you go. We tip our caps to Tom Brady and the, and the genius Bill Belichick on this day. Tip of the hat, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I don't know, man. What else? What else we got going on? Here Dude, on I show? just got. I went to Georgia. That's right. Yeah, you were doing I like a Walking Georgia Dead fanfic weekend. tour or something. <laughs> sort of. I was. I was giving my sister away at a wedding. It's like the first time difference. in Georgia that that's ever happened. Actually, where a brother gave his sister away at a wedding. Was Was the minister confused? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, wait a second. I ain't seen and, this before. <laughs> Even weirder, it wasn't her wedding. <laughs> <laughs> but she was pregnant, and it's the law. <laughs> Dave was just trying to get rid of her, you know? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, that was fun. Well, I, congratulations. Why, after why, after we you. messed with you for 30 seconds. <laughs> and then you, you were rejected from <laughs> yes, I, the rehearsal dinner, weren't you, I got thrown out of the rehearsal dinner. You can't oh. bring us Yankees down south and put margaritas in us. It, it sinks to a new low that you're the scumbag in your family, because I know your family. <laughs> well, it was me and my stepmom is a raging alcoholic. You, you can't put the two of us together with booze. It's always bad news. Not in Georgia. In fact, that might, you guys might be common law married. Wait, wait. Let me get this straight. You went to your sister's rehearsal dinner and got wasted, and you're... Drinking a non-alcoholic beverage at a bar. I'm recovering. I'm in recovery. Right now. <laughs> He's yeah, man, the liver recovering. can only take so much. <laughs> His blood alcohol level is 0. 0.5. <laughs> That's why he didn't drive here tonight. He needed you, <laughs> he needed you to pick him up, Steve. <laughs> well, after three more of these, I'm going to be on a sugar high. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and, and we got a uh, special guest, Rhodes Pierre, the comedian, sitting down with us tonight. Do we oh, not? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh... I got a lot of respect for him. He's wearing a shirt right now that says anti-GMO. So uh, on top of everything else, we're going to get some input on him. And I know we've got, oh, he's got a, he's got a, he's wearing the JC shirt too. Jesus Christ is anti-GMO. He is. Jesus Christ with the marijuana leaf on his, oh, yeah. on his shroud. God Remember, grows grass. That is God true. Gro- is that a tree shirt? I have a, I have a shirt from the band Tree that says the same thing. God grows grass. Well, aren't you special? I am special. That's what my aren't mom you tells me. Your mom tells me I'm special, in fact. <laughs> well, for different reasons. You provide her rent money. <laughs> Dude, she's that good. She she's is. worth it. And she lives she really cheap. She is a saint. Saint of a woman. Saint the YMCA swordsman. is not expensive, as it turns out. <laughs> All right. On that note, we got some good music coming up. I got uh, the new Muse tonight. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. we're going to play some of that. And uh, so Is that coming up right now? No. No, no, you're just, just teasing just, it? Just stick around. All right, so what are you playing later. right now for us, man? Um, I got a little X's and O's by a lady named L.A. King. Sounds good. Yeah, so good don't stuff. go anywhere. We've got a pretty good show planned. We'll see how well it gets executed here on 13 Folds versus the World on Rhode Island Free Radio.org.
You're listening to 13 Folds Radio, conquering the airwaves. I'm but a ship stuck in the sand. Some would say that I'm all alone, but I- 